Blue skies, nothing but blue skies do I see here in Grand Prairie as our coverage of the Scotties continues. Revolution Place is a very busy place as we have just three round robin draws to go before we sort out the field, the playoffs, possible tiebreakers tomorrow morning. This morning, draw 14, and some teams suffered very big losses. Okay, not, the leaders, not, not Alberta, not Chelsea not. Carey, had lost two of her last three, but rebounds nicely here. Scores four in the third to go on to an 8 2 win over Nova Scotia. That's five losses now for the Blue Knights. Northern Ontario yesterday, bad day for them. They lost two in a row, but they come back. Krista McCarville, Thunder Bay. Three and six, three and eight, as they go on to a big 10-3 win over BC and remain among the contenders. Elsewhere on the ice, Saskatchewan came back. Three and eight, stole one and nine to beat Newfoundland, Labrador, eight four and New Brunswick 2 and 10 to beat Quebec 6-5. So as we take a look at the table, there you see the dividing line, that five loss. Alberta, Team Canada, Northern Ontario, Manitoba, they right now are in the playoff positions. If you're at four losses, you want to stay there. If you're Quebec and Nova Scotia at five, you've got to win and hope somebody drops back to join you. Again, multi-game coverage. First time ever at the Scotties. If you want to see Northern Ontario Quebec on TSN3. If you want to watch Manitoba Team Canada TSN1. Here from Grand Prairie, the Scotties turn out of parts. Team Northern Ontario has experienced the grind of the Scotties. It's all about consistency. And today they had a nice bounce back game this morning as Thursday brings the finish line in sight. For Quebec, they've been high, they've been low, but this morning suffered a crucial fifth loss. Now simple, they have to win out. Drop 15 from Grand Prairie is next. Northern Ontario, Quebec is our feature as a Northern Ontario among the leaders, Quebec, in a little bit of trouble as they enter this play. As we say hello, Canada, and welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Scotties on this uh, Thursday afternoon. Cheryl and Russ alongside. Yeah, a very nice comeback game for uh, Christian McCarville and Thunder Bay this morning. It was. It showed some mental resilience to come out after those two losses yesterday and bounce back. Each game is important now, each shot going forward, you can't let anything down and it won't be your physical ability that'll do it, it'll be your mental. So just focus on your two shots each end and don't look any further than that. And that uh, same can really apply to Quebec, focus. Uh, they have struggled, they lost earlier today, they're at five losses, they have to win out. Do they ever? Marie Franz had a shot for four against uh, New Brunswick, missed it, lost on the last shot of the game. Worse than that, three of their losses have come to the bottom three teams in the standings. That has to sting at the end of the week. But they're a veteran team. They only had an hour to turn it around, but anybody can do it, it's this team. What they can't afford to do, of course, is to scoreboard watch, just focus on their own game. So that is our feature when we come to, Gra to Grand Prairie. Quebec against Northern Ontario. The Scotties continues here on TSA. I don't even have words to explain what it would be to lift that trophy. I just think how excited it was to win Provincials and to come here again. I couldn't even imagine the excitement that I'd be feeling. I truly don't have words for it. Hopefully I'll experience it at the end of the week. It means a lot, uh, just the, the, the time we, we take to practice uh, the sacrifice. So I think for sure uh, that will, will be the, the, the biggest thing of our career and uh, of our life. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. The 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures.
by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada, and by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Again this afternoon, you have your choice of games to watch. You can stay with us to watch Northern Ontario, Quebec on TSN 3 or switch over to TSN 1. Join Kathy and Brian for Manitoba against Team Canada. So Northern Ontario comes in with their record 6-3, and three, Quebec at 4-5. and five. Time to meet the teams now is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, I'm Krista McCarvel. I'm Skip of Team Northern Ontario. Our lead is Sarah Potts. Our second is Ashley Sipala. Our third is Kendra Lilly. And we curl out of the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay. Hi, my name is Marie-France Larouche from Team Quebec. Our lead is Julie Rainville. Our second is Annie Lemay. Our third is Brenda Nichols. And we curl out of the HMN Curling Club in Livy. So it's must win for Quebec. Win out, finish at six and five to give yourself any chance. And they have that early advantage. They will have the last rock. They have the hammer here in the first playing the Yellowstones, Northern Ontario, the red. And getting us underway, the Northern Ontario lead is Sarah Potts. A little bit of inconsistency from Quebec, as we talked about in the opening, losing to the three teams that are at the bottom of the standings, which makes it really tough to make the playoffs. But the chance is still there. And uh, Krista McCarvel, a little bit inconsistent in the last couple of games until uh, this morning. And she made everything this morning again, as she has done all the way through herself. She's been really, really good with those big shots. She has. It's, I, I think these teams are pretty evenly matched. It seems it's going to be at the skip position, and I don't even think it's going to be in the numbers, more in the confidence, how they kind of pulled themselves out there and, and the confidence they show to their team. I watched Team Quebec in practice because they have to be stinging from their loss this morning, and they, they look great. They look really uh, joking around, comfortable, having fun out there, because it's this is it. Like, you, you can't lose this Very one. Very tight. A little bit for Big long. Long, Line's good. No, line's good. Where are we? It's tight. Still? Tight. Line's good. Pull we'll it off, off, probably. Ash, ash. Yep, hard, Ash. Hard. Hard. Whoa. So in goes Northern Ontario. Quebec throws up the corner, and now Northern Ontario oh. covers. I was... And a moment to, with uh, their coach, Quebec coach, uh, Pierre Charette, said, what are you going to play? You're going to, if you get the last rock, you're going to try and run it and win him one nothing." He says, no, that's not the way this team plays. And it's a great example here. Yep. She throws up the corner. Oh. She could very easily have yes. blanked and said, I need a little time oh, wow, after that away. loss today. That he said that. they have lost such confidence, in particular, Marie yes. franz Rouge When she had that hit for four, you know, he was on the bench and watching. He said, I wanted to jump onto the ice and say, take more ice. She was narrow. She got it started and bang. Yeah. Even if they hit and rolled out, he said, we would have gotten three. Wow. But it just those kind of things have hurt them the entire yeah. round robin. It's really bad when it's a skip, too, because when you sit in the hack, there's two things you don't believe in. You don't believe in your own ice, which is starts to get into your head and play with your mind, and then that can affect your release. You might turn it in a little bit, set it back a bit. It'd be a big struggle at the skip position. It's so true, and it, it, you say a good thing because if the skip can't put the rim in the right spot, it affects four people. I mean, the difference I used to always say though is they didn't know I wasn't confident in their ice, so they just threw at it. They <laughs> believed I knew what I was doing at that moment. <laughs> That's true. Pretty simple double peel to get things opened up here. As we play second stones and settling in, lady that's going to be very busy this week and coming up at the Tim Hortons Briar in Ottawa, Annie LeMay, as we say good afternoon, Steph LeDrew. Annie LeMay has a very busy schedule coming up. Not only is she here at the Scotties this week, but her husband, Jean-Michel Menard, of course, a very recognizable name in curling, will be representing Quebec at the upcoming Tim Hortons Briar in Ottawa. Now, this Briar will be 
very close to home for this family as they make their home just across the river in Gatineau, Quebec. So Annie and their two kids will be very excited to be watching their dad and cheering him on all week at the Briar, unless, of course, she's busy preparing for a world championship. <laughs> Uh, they'll, uh, they hope, of course, as all the teams do here, but there's the kind of shot that uh, in the first, when you're trying to build some confidence, that will just rattle you to, the, to your slider. <laughs> That's so true, because this is what happens on great ice against good teams. Now you need at least two good shots. You can get at that. They're in trouble here. Great ice reading by Krista. You know, first end, you're guessing a little bit of where to go. And perfect weight. One more try. No! Annie LeMay, this time one, two, yes. And that shooter will roll over and uh, cover the outside edge of the 12. Nice recovery, good shot, but uh, really nice angles here for Northern Ontario. It's the run doubles not simple, and to hit the outside of that red, it's just staying right there. So you just, saw, sorry, Russ. Just keep guarding it. You saw Brenda Nichols sweeping that roll, and you you know you could wonder she could leave it there for a second corner guard, but sweeping it out of the way so they at least have one draw path in, because the outturn draw path is blocked by their other corner guard. Halfway, halfway, a little yeah. above half. Okay, go, Sarah. Halfway, go, Sarah. Hard, Sarah. Hard. Might be some room here, and if you hit what you can see, it goes right onto that top red, which makes the double. At least kick something behind the T line. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Brenda Nichols, and as you say, leaves the shooter in play. Sitting top eight, but moves those Northern Ontario stones behind the T-line. Great weight choice. And even the... Oh, just to guess where to put the broom down the center there and fresh pebble. Really good shot. Kendra Lilly, really talented player, terrific brusher. We watched her yesterday work up a sweat, take stones, end to end. And now that jam at the back, Quebec sitting the one. Let's take a look at the keys to the game. We'll start to Cheryl with Northern Ontario. Well, from Northern Ontario, she's been making the big shots, but at times I think she doesn't give herself the easiest draws, so make sure she's got some side of that four-foot weight. Hammer efficiency is going to be key out here at Quebec. 42% force efficiency with the amount of rocks they play. They really shut down that four-foot, so remember to kind of open it up so that you get an opportunity to score. I think the only no, thing no, I've no. seen with Northern Ontario see, is see. they don't open it up soon enough. And see, once they do bail, it's on thirds last, and they could maybe do it on the thirds first. A lot of teams that have been guilty of that. It's, uh, yes, 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 you've got a third or a skip that curls 80, 85%. Just give them some room to execute. Exactly. And for Quebec, Russ. Well, <laughs> amnesia is what I, I would put at the top of the list. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's such a tough... Yeah, they lost to a team that was 1-7. They're in the hunt, and they lose to a team that's 1-7. It happens. They're all good teams out here, but they only had about an hour to turn it around, so forget it all. 
enjoy your lunch, get back out here and try as hard as you can. And I think Quebec, with the aggressive style they play, put pressure early in each end on Northern on right to here. stop this Christopher Carvel from making everything. The keys to the game are brought to you by World Let's Financial Group, really helping really Canadians have better financial in. futures. Well, if we can get a There's little, a nice... Under, under, okay. Cheryl, okay. you and I leave here, and we wish we could... <laughs> <laughs> have an amnesia. <laughs> just, wow. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> what was your night like? I don't remember. <laughs> more, more than Kendra. Oh, stay close, Sarah. One thing that yep. has uh, hard, hard, hard. bitten hard. this Northern hard. Ontario team, yeah, hard. Oh. Whoa, hard. and particularly Krista McCarvel. Very nice to sit the shot stone. Controlled weight has been late game draws. Yeah, Think about are. the one against Saskatchewan, had to hit the four. Now, Lorraine was saying, look at we're just not sure of the ice. She thinks that the ice is, is speeding up. Well, it won't. It's just that it's not slowing down and they're getting caught. Well, especially at night, it's, it's, it's way faster out wide you know, edge of the eight wider than it is down the middle. So I know what she's saying. If you threw a couple down the middle, and a lot of times you see center guards dying. So you're thinking, hey, it's slowing down. When you go a little wider, like Krista did against Saskatchewan, she got out into that slipstream and it just kept going. Now, the other thing too is, and Cheryl, keep an eye on Julie Ramville on the left. She's got that stopwatch. You see it just in her hand. Women's teams in particular pay more attention than men do most of the men i don't i rarely see a man's team a men's team use the stopwatch can you in fact rely too much on it no absolutely uh, you know it was one of the things we did as a team our coach would take it away for events and basically say you got to play by feel and i think that could be krista's issue late in the game throw away the stopwatches kind of go by feel you know the pass you're calling the ice all the time you know when you're coming into the slower spots and just don't go by that time so much well because it would seem to me, Russ, if the watch tells you one thing. So if the shot actually is called for top eight and it's overthrown, the watch may tell you something altogether different, differently, right? Oh, for sure. And, and, but the, 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 and it's, it's the best way to put it, as Cheryl's saying, it's a great guide. It's a wonderful guesstimation. Something in the crowd, a, a parent in the crowd can go, well, that's pretty close. It, but what if, you're, what if you press the button here too soon and here too late? That slight error, that... You know, tenth of a second error is multiplied by about six times to get the rock at the far end. Somebody could be throwing a different rock, you get different releases, you've got a different sliding surfaces. It's, I find it complicated. All of a sudden, the hit just hit four. Mm -hmm. Final stone, Northern Ontario, Chris McCarvel in a fifth appearance at the national championship, won a bronze medal. Medal in 2010. That was the last time she was at the Scotties. And there they are, one, two, three, and four. And that's what is facing Marie Franz Larouche with her last. So again, a, a pressure situation for the skip from the Etchemin in Levy, just across the river from uh, Quebec City. Seventh Scotties appearance. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Former Canadian junior champion, won a Canada Games title, so much expected from Marie Franz LaRouche. Her best performance was 8 and 4 in Regina back in 2004. This is in one of those areas we talk about where the teams practice. I think this has to slow down pretty quick. Don't touch it, not a lick from either Annie LeMay or Julie Ranville. And sit, 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 and just does. Wow, facing four. Picks up the single. Yes, deep breath. Draw 15, and here are the games on the ice. Our feature is on sheet A. New Brunswick and BC in an important game as they uh, try to avoid that possible relegation spot. On sheet C, Prince Edward Island, Ontario. Crucial for them. One of those 
teams will stay at four losses. One will drop to five. And Manitoba against Team Canada, hoping to avoid Manitoba a fourth loss and bring Team Canada back. That's where we'll begin our updates with uh, Steph. Team Canada with Last Rock in the first. It was actually looking like a blank was set up uh, all day for this entire end until a late miss by Manitoba. Leaves this open draw anywhere in the paint for two. Team Canada comes in with a record of six and two and uh, trying to uh, keep pace with Team Alberta, who are sitting top of the table. Interestingly enough, the way the round robin has gone, Alberta uh, has already played 10 games, so they have one game remaining, whereas Team Canada comes in with that record of six and two, have only played eight. So there is a difference in the number of games. Some will really have a tough stretch. Nice draw for two. Team Canada picks up a pair. <laughs> Prince Edward Island and Ontario. With Ontario having the last rock. Blank and New Brunswick. Early score there by Sylvie Robichaud from Curl Moncton. And right beside, that's our featured game. Sheet A, Quebec. Nice draw. Just hung on to the back edge of the four facing four with her last Quebec gets the single so here in the second it will be Krista McCarville and the team from the Fort William Curling Club in Thunder Bay that does have the last rock playing the Red Stone. Danny LeMay. You could argue that was one of the best shots we've seen all week because uh, Maria Franz had a tough game herself. The team had a tough game. We talked about them lo the loss to uh, a lower ranked team. She missed her first shot badly. Now she's got to jump in the hack and draw against four. It was a game saver. Nice shot. Oh, beautiful shot by Annie LeMay. how important Julie's freeze was. Ashley Sipola. Back line. Whoa. Kendra then goal. She was part of that McCarville team really hard. that won the bronze medal back in 2010. Well brushed. Right, Worked out pretty good. I, I like that call when you've got a sight of that. That's what we talked about where you get that four foot okay. shut down. You play those angle okay, freezes. But if you've got a, a, a sight of all of that rock, try and tap it back and open it up. She even gets a roll behind a yellow corner. Yeah, great roll. interesting as you look across yeah, Papa. we just sneak peeks here across the other sheets yep. there's a intensity yeah. level that's uh, come up a few notches mm -hmm. and, uh, screaming appears to be just a little bit louder <laughs> a little more concern over all the shots realizing that a miss here miss there could cost you a chance at the playoffs it's so close with so many teams for so many different positions too Well, I can't make that double. See, what if we uh, can't see much of that, eh? No, it's not. You see that? No. You bump that? That's good. Yeah, if I could just punch you it. You can over. make that double. Well, the one. Hit it thick with Are a lot of weight. Are the edges lined up? Do you guys like the the edges? I have like a little tiny bit of room. Okay. Even if you just get to the inside at all with speed, you kick that yellow one in the open, and you stay pretty well underneath. Maybe even sit too, Cheryl. If you throw it hard enough. I think so. I'm off the back of it. Just trying to get to the nose. There's a bit of room to get to the inside, or is there? No, Kendra! We're going to find Mark, out now. Andy Sipola as we play the last of the second stones. Go, 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 go. 
And gets to the inside. Nice. Nice shot. Yeah, I guess you couldn't throw it too much harder than that to get to the inside. Very well played. Shot rock still belongs to Quebec as they sit just side of the button. This was all weight selection. She didn't overthrow it. Good shot, Ash. Brenda Nichols. Fourth Scotties for her. She skipped a Quebec team in St. John's. 2005 went four and seven that year. Kind of got caught a little bit on it coming down. They were trying to freeze right into the pocket. Prince Edward Island, Ontario. All you need to know about the importance is just like a, take a look at their records. They're both at four and four, uh, trying to avoid a, uh, a fifth loss. Ontario with last rock, blank the first. You saw two stones, corner frozen in the 12. They belong to PEI. Final stone on the way. Ontario's Jen Hanna, Ottawa Curling Club. Two shots ago, Team Ontario was sitting three, and Suzanne Burt made a double on her first and a double on her second. Both really tough shots, actually, so definitely a win for PEI at the moment. Needs to uh, bite the white. Piece of the eight foot. Yeah, I know. As Britt O'Neill puts up her hand, nice shot, Skipper. As she draws the T-line edge of the button for the single. Andrew Lilly, nice, soft weight to push it to the back of the eight. Shot stone belongs to Northern Ontario. Second and third belong to Quebec. Anywhere short of this is good. You just don't want to bounce off at all. It's a new path. We get hit and roll off the side yellow. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm in. Even if you freeze the side yellow. Like that? Yeah, you end up coming back. Yep. You don't really want to. Here's not horrible. Okay. Yeah. The scary right thing about here. coming back too much is in the, back to the back yellow as they start the freeze game back there in the forefoot. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have much room. An awkward end here for Northern Ontario. They're trying to produce that too, but creating some risk here. I gotta go. I gave it a bit. Yeah, go hard. Hard. Hard line. Hard, hard, hard. That We're does light. not look yeah. deep enough. Probably okay, over curl going. too. Kendra keep Lilly. Yep, keep going. Okay, Careful well, to line going. up this red yellow rays. Okay. Okay. He just got away with it. Yeah. Just three I had. They're just under throwing it out there, it seems both teams. Could use your own here. Okay. To throw it fairly firm, but even if you hit it thick and kind of roll to the forefoot, it makes it so much tougher for McCarville. 
The other option would be that intern path, top eight, but then you've kind of got something on both sides. Right, save this one. Okay, let's go. That will tell you a lot. Her game has fallen off 10 points in those three losses, starting at four and two. Just the lack of confidence, according to Coach Pierre Charette. One over and won't move it far enough. Nicely done, though. Come on, Marie. Hey, you wonder with only 10 games on the tour for this uh, great Quebec team. It, a long week here. Nice throw, just the same here, though. Well, that's the, I mean, When you're on the tour, you experience all those different ice conditions from club to club from if you ever get a chance to play in an arena. So when you come out here and you face ice that you haven't seen before, you then look back and you, in the bookmark of your mind, you go, oh, I remember that from X club when we were playing that one. Remember what we did there? You don't have those bookmarks in your mind. How are you supposed to deal with it? Yeah, that's exactly it. You, you learn how to deal with the ice in certain situations and and really how to recover mostly from ice that you're struggling with. A lot of times you'll go back to an open game and they just seem to not really have a game plan as to how to deal with this. Krista McCarville. Yeah. Bouncing it does. Still a little overlap with that stone as we drop in on Manitoba Team Canada. After Team Canada got two in the first. Boy, can you crack these all to get them going and bring that other stone into play? Yeah, I think all she has to do is get rid of two of them. Uh, okay. She is at least third shot possibly second they did actually look at it very closely so but just to make sure she's getting her deuce she is playing the double here she's got to get rid of the one at the back and the one on the side of the 12 and stick her shooter for two manitoba skip carrie anderson oh, out of east no, saint no, no, paul no. won her first manitoba hey. title after losing the last two years in the final bang bang okay. move them hell yeah. very nice and we're tied at two Marie France looking to take away the only shot that Krista McCarville probably has is the draw for two. So just guard the left side of the sheet. There's nothing you would risk promoting, bumping up to uh, try and get shot stone. You just want to hold them to the single rush. The only thing you hear pump is your own yellow there, and I don't think you can quite see enough of it. So uh, th this is the right call. So much curl as she's taking the cross the face Kirk turn to give her a little easier path. too much. That's the trick. Two great shots by Mary France that that builds on the confidence just itself. Her hit and roll, more than anything, putting the broom down in the right spot for both those shots. I mean, it's a guess completely, right? So, yeah. It's a guess, though. Okay, well, I'm not really too sure if it is there. It's got to curl really hard yeah. past that guard. Seen Seeing, what, three, four eight. shots come up light in this spot? Yeah, yeah. Might be there. I think we need to throw it to so what do you guys, how much heavier do you guys think? Like, shoot an 80 I or think, 85? Yeah, that's what we're thinking. 80 is yeah. our best guess. Yeah. Line only. Stay close. close. Don't want close. to. No, no, no. 
Why is not bad? No, Sarah, Sarah's any day. Gotta go. Sarah, Sarah's any day. No, we're there. Okay, sorry. No! Line only. Whoa. 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 No, we're deep. We're deep. Ooh, it's close. Very. My goodness, sorry, this hooks in there. I mean, Very I nice try. Idea. One red it is. Good start, both teams. Some fine shot making. We're tied at one. One of the stories coming into this uh, draw 15 is Marie Franz LaRouche. Confidence got her big loss earlier today. She made that draw against four in the uh, first, and then now this is the kind of shot you talk about forcing a team to take one this is a good shot that'll help you do it it is it's this is a saver we don't often look at them but this is the shot that really forced krista to a tough draw key shot is brought to you by scotty's the tissue for any issue so we're tied at one as we welcome you back to grand prairie absolutely spectacular day outside one one and here in the third will be Quebec that has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Yellowstone. Krista wasn't far off making that draw, and you heard the no. sweepers out of her hand say, whoa, we're way deep, but it came down pretty hard. Life. Good example okay. how slow it is out wider. Really good guess on that one. That's that's another time where the clocks, right? You look at the clocks as sweepers, say, I mean, this is through, but you yeah. really got to be thinking about what you've seen happen down that path. Yep. And stay close because it can come down really hard. Queen! Queen! Yep! Whoa, easy, easy. Ashley Sipola. Yep. To sit two without last rock. Started. Go, go, oh, go, now go, trying go. to roll it to Get in behind ready. cover. Not quite what they wanted, but they missed it the right way. That's so important. That's why this veteran team does so well all the time. You try too hard to roll there, you roll out, and then uh, everything's gone. So at least, you know, Northern Ontario has to deal with the stone. I saw Krista motioning that this is going to curl really hard here. Picked up really quickly. Kendra Lilly talked about her brushing ability. And they'll bang it right on the nose. So another chance here, Russell, if you can get that outside roll. Yeah, it's not as hard this time. It's a little bit shorter roll. Going to change turns. Seen much change. We talked about it curling a hair more inside out, but it seems to have been consistent all week. This time, Brenda Nichols yes. all the way now. Get the roll. Yes, she does, but it'll pop out wide side. No, we've really we've noticed that it goes. It seems to curl more to the wings than it even does to the center, and that was. Pretty firm hit weight and moved a lot. <sighs> Solid! Oh. Solid! Oh. Close! 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 Yeah, Sierra! Oh! 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 Yep! Oh! 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 Oh!
Just to keep you updated. There was a uh, blank in three, so it remains 2-1. British Columbia. Carla Thompson from Kamloops, a leading Sylvie Robichaux from Curl Moncton, New Brunswick. What's the play? Just straight around. Nice distance guard from the T-line. Boy, I tell you what, did you see where, whoa, 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 look where this finishes up. Great draw. The brush was over on the four. Yeah. On the other side of the T-line, uh, uh, center line rather. Mm -hmm. Wow. Even more movement than we've seen. Mm -hmm. Ontario got one in the second after they opened with a blank, and they are sitting one, two, and three as Prince Edward Island gets ready to throw their last. Suzanne Burt made a perfect come around corner guard on her first one, and that forced Jennifer Hanna to only one option, and that was a run back, which she made perfectly and rolled her shooter to a perfect spot. Now Suzanne needs to actually make this double in order to score. Needs to run it straight back and sit right there. And she'll get it. Just catching enough for the top of the eight. And we're even at one. And again, can't stress enough that game. The fact that both those teams are at four losses. Make sure you're looking up on those because you're not uh, catching the line calls. So it's interesting. And there's a. Just a point. Those important little things, as Robin Green points out to Megan Hughes and Marie Christensen, you've got to look up a little bit more. Watch me for the line call. Good sweeping shot, Kendra. Nice shot. Standings coming into this 15th draw. Reminder, there's this draw, then tonight, then tomorrow morning. Alberta just has one game remaining. They sit top of the table at the two-loss level with Team Canada. Northern Ontario, Manitoba, if it ended right now, they're your four playoff teams. And then, of course, down through five, Nova Scotia and Quebec, and wanting to stand and stay right there. They need to win out and then hope some teams drop back to join them. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Nicely done, right underneath. Tried to get it back a little bit further so that slash wasn't as easy. Tighten up by point. I think what you have on that? 75. I think her 90 gets there, but yeah, we could be to it. So. 85, 90. Nice to hear the discussion so, the sweepers have before like Krista really comes good. down. Okay. They know what weight they're going to tell her, and there's not a lot of discussion when she gets down there. Well, it, it was a it was a point of discussion about this Northern Ontario team. They 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 do like to chat. It was uh, causing them some concern earlier in round robin, especially toward the end of the game. Where guys? But they uh, seem to have sorted it out. And they basically have let the Krista make the calls and left her alone. Oh, it was even when they were doing it, Vic, they were starting to discuss shots on second stones and you really burn a lot of time mm -hmm. that way. Good. No, no, I'm like, I don't think so. That came down more than I thought. I thought they were saying it was further. Yeah, I know. I curl so hard. Like, our hits were curling so hard there. It's the awareness of the nice inside out path reading books. So look where the uh, the brush is here being held by Brendan Nichols and 
You want to be corner frozen. So four, five feet. Yes. Yeah, fantastic surface. It's more like four feet going to the middle. So there's a little bit more here. Well, this is an intern. Most curlers interns curl more than out turn to be fair, but that still is beautiful finish. This rock's almost on the, still on the center line, and they're trying to get almost to the edge of the eight. There it goes now. Poor line. Hey, there's her shot stone for the moment. Nice curl. Bon Marie. Yeah. I'll give you guys a hair more. Or sorry, hair less. Okay. A little more ice. Just a hair. You're waiting for Yeah, you're waiting for close. Well, Manitoba and Team Canada have traded deuces through the first two and it appears the uh, shot stone is team canada so i'm assuming a draw for two correct it is just needs a bit of the eight foot for two and carrie less. anderson actually did a good job making sure that this wasn't going to be a shot for three by making a nice double on her last so this is for two it's all you i gave it some jennifer jones Team Canada out of the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg against Manitoba and Kerry Anderson. Nice job. Wow. Good judge, you guys. They're just laying them on in our sheet. There's the deuce. Two, two, two. And it's a 4 2 Team Canada lead. I think they had to get a little bit more to the nose. Spectacular speed control again. And Chris is so close on everything. Is the room to nose this, Cheryl? I think it's close. Oh, you're right. Get to the nose with some weight. Let's go. That's why the angles are so crucial. That yellow one that Marie Franz threw is on such a nice angle. You nose this red. The yellow is going to stay in the back red. And if you can throw enough speed to kick it out of there, you'll be two. Final stone, and they pick her up right away. Now Annie LeMay with a dust. Get by the guard, yes. Crack it on the nose, yes. How far will it go? Little more. Oh, and it'll just spin, and it'll remain. And sit there for a steal. Northern Ontario will pick up the steal of one. Difficult attempt, Deal. trying to come in off the stone on the outside, trying to get the roll to the stone at the button. They're working on it frantically. There's the contact. There's the roll. She made it. What a shot for the win. That is the best shot I've ever seen to win a game. Unbelievable. The uh, legendary uh, Don Whitman on the call, uh, Jennifer Jones, and her first win back in 2005 against Jen Hanna and a rematch of 2005 tonight. You can see it on TSN 4 at 8.30 or TSN 1 will have Alberta against Saskatchewan. That's when we join you again tonight. Draw 16 as we slowly wind up round robin. There's the lady who was a part of that the team, of course, in 2005, Kathy Goche. Swept that stone and cracked it perfectly to come across and pick up the win. Of course, part of that team, Chill Officer. So in this championship, having won five, Jennifer Jones, Jill Officer, have an opportunity, if they can repeat as champions, it would be a sixth title for those two to join legendary Colleen Jones as the only six-time winners of the Canadian Women's Curling Championship. Welcome back to Grand Prairie. On this Thursday afternoon, 35th anniversary of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. That's the kind of thing that 
Quebec has been suffering from. That's Quebec the keeper. kind of shot that can kill yeah. your confidence because really it looked like Rushy yeah. hit it perfectly, yeah. Yeah. couldn't squeeze it. And so Northern Ontario steals one. They're up 2-1 here in four. Quebec, once again, will have Last Rock playing the Yellowstone. Yeah, we used to say once in a while you're on the wrong side of the inch, and uh, they played a great end. They set it up perfectly, a perfect freeze with their first one, and uh, Krista took it all away and almost made it for two. A little, I don't think he hit it much cleaner. It was just a little more speed required. Marie France is not known for the big hit weights. She's more of the touch. It's close. Quebec's a wee bit longer than the ideal. No, no. Me. Me. Brenda. 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 Go, 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 go. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh. Oh. That. That. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Twisted her back yeah. when she fell. Okay. Brenda Nichols. Why? Okay, okay, I'm okay. Sure? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just catch your breath. No, but we'll go to the pierre. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Did you get caught up on the guard? Yeah. Yeah, she did trying to sidestep it and then going underneath and then. Seemingly uh, losing her uh, her breath as well. Yeah, I think it was long because I, yeah, just a little back because I was Is it a cow? Well, forget his curlers. You're on a piece of Teflon on pebbled ice, and you're going as quick as you can, trying to off balance brushing. You've got your feet running around the guards. It's amazing it doesn't yeah. happen more often. It was lined up. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Trying to get these back, these rocks back in position. Back. Oh, you guys like this? <laughs> Why don't we just guard then? Yeah. Go nine. Okay. okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Why don't you just guard? It guards a lot easier than hitting and rolling. I know you don't like to have a corner, but it's it's pretty long corner. There's a really good chance you're going to hit this and roll for a corner. Hard to roll perfect. Yeah, no. whoa, whoa, whoa. It's solid. Whoa, no. Okay, right out then. Go. Yep, no, no, go, go, go. It's right okay. Out, right out, right out. I want to give him a corner on the other side. Are you calling it roll in the middle? Yeah. Oh. I just didn't want to give him a corner on the other side. I thought you were just peeling. That's all. I think that corner was so high that you really could have just ignored it with the amount of curl we're seeing oh, on this God. ice. Pretty tough for Quebec to get around it and you not be able to have access to something to back there. Danny LeMay. Yeah. You play for the blank now, do you, Russ? You think even at second stones, or can you generate something if you're Quebec? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes, you yes, really yes, can't yes, now, it's yes, too late. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, so now she holds a shooter as it rolls to the. Uh, at 12. Let's just go back. So she just will touch that stone. And so because of that, that, that stone will go. She burns it as she falls. Did well to stop her body from touching it. But flying bits and pieces. Right up, right up, right up. Keep going, keep going. Okay, good. Touch. Okay. Normal, Brenda.
So first stone for Brendan Nichols after that fall. Green. Yes. 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 In a one-one tie. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ontario yes, yes. is a yes, yes, yes. sitting the shot stone and chance for a couple. Chance for a couple. There was a nice uh, draw around a corner guard by Britt O'Neill earlier in this end that set it all up. And Team Ontario has been sitting two for a while, trading hits. Britt O'Neill has the brush down. She throws the third stones for the Ottawa Michael champions under the Ottawa Curling Club. And Jen Hanna. No, it looks fine. Take a look. Take a look. Eight foot is what she needs. And two it is. All important for those two. PEI and Ontario. Not a lot of opportunity with that corner guard, so just looking now to the blank and try and get something going the next end for Quebec. Did she hit the, the, the top been one? Better to, once the double, they're still trying to make the double, that's why they were trying to make a curl, but they might have been better to brush it the other way, hit it dead on, and they'd be grouped together. Now there's going to be some separation here for Northern Ontario if this is made. Oh, sorry, is that 10? Yeah, 10. can't get, get over how many close games we've seen. Like some get broken open at the end, but you know it's 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 like a war each game out here. Almost almost in every sheet, almost every draw. And really, it hasn't been because it's been up and down the sheet. No. there's been so many rocks in play. And... To sit two. Well, it may be, it may speak to parity of the uh, of the field. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have seen lots of big ends, fives, fours, threes. That's what I did. On thought it, I thought it looked like lots of ice, so I was like, oh, I don't want to have a whole game. Yeah, teams don't seem to be afraid of rocks and play, and then if you get one mistake, and there comes a big end. The compliments to a team like Quebec that today throws up the corner. We've seen PEI not hesitate playing, or Alberta, or Team Canada. Okay, we're going to Let's go. Marie. Marie-France And her first skip stone here in four. She does have the last one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Julie! Julie. Nice shot. Nice shot. Best you could do, really, try to get them grouped together. Sorry? Oh, he says that. Really, now his nose is fine. Yeah, nose is nice, I think. Like to roll somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> nose just gives her a catcher. Oh, a catcher. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Ten. Ten. My last one's probably ten and a half, eh? A little, a little easy. easy. Firm ten. Yeah, a little yep. firm. Yep. Oh, 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 nine oh. and a half. Close. No. Oh, there go. There hard, 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 hard. Krista McCarvel. Oh, 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 oh. Go hard, go hard. Oh, yes, does yes, well hard. to roll it away. Playing with a lot of confidence, Krista. Mm -hmm. Even after yesterday. 
missed a tough one against Saskatchewan. She missed a hit against Saskatchewan in the ninth. Uh, she missed one draw earlier she, yesterday sometime. Other than that, every time you look over, and it, even if she does miss, it's by fractions. Sits it at the back of the button for the single. <laughs> and we're tied at two. Before we go to break, let's uh, drop in on the game between Manitoba and Team Canada as they play in the fourth. And 4-2 uh, Team Canada. Manitoba final stone on the way for their skip, Perry Anderson. Carrie tried to freeze on her first, but rolled off to a spot where Team Canada was left with a double. And Jennifer Jones makes it no problem, leaving Carrie no choice but to make this double for one. Bang, bang. Oh, 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 oh. And there it goes. It's a race. Almost got the blank out of it. Manitoba picks up their single 4 3. Team Canada still leads. 44 curlers started the week with a chance to drive away in an all-new 2016 Ford Edge Sport in the annual Ford Hot Shots competition. That number trimmed down to just two. The final, PEI's Robin Green against Team Canada's Jennifer Jones. And Jones, the five-time Scottish champion, came up so big in that final round, almost perfect, scoring 29 of a possible 30 points. So, Jennifer Jones wins the Ford Hot Shots, and with it, a two-year lease, on the Made in Canada 2016 Ford Edge Sports. Grand Prairie, the Scotties Tournament of Hearts, our featured game on this Thursday afternoon. Northern Ontario and Quebec. Quebec get their single in four to tie it at two. Move to the fifth, and it'll be Northern Ontario, the team from Thunder Bay that does have the last rock playing the Red Stones. Northern Ontario at six and three. Quebec at four and five. They must win out. They must finish at six and five to give themselves any chance. That would include a few teams stubbing their toe down the stretch to fall back and join them. A big loss for them earlier today to fall to five losses. Well, they dropped a 6 5 decision to New Brunswick. New Brunswick with just two wins. That was their second. Andy LeMay. Both these leads setting up these angles. I haven't seen. Any misses, nothing deep and perfect freezes come, come around to set up the end. Tight line here. Shot stone, you see, top of the four belongs to Northern Ontario. Just don't know what to do here. You don't really have good angles, but by peeling here, I think it gives uh, Team Quebec yep. a chance to play that short hard, raise. Hard, 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 hard. Ashley Sipola. Yep. Boy, will kill their own. Leave the uh, Quebec Stone shot rock. One center line guard. That they were better before. Yeah. And you really wanted to roll away on this. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Quel poids? Sinon, euh, sinon, on vient taper celle-là, puis on se met devant. Ça, j'aime ça, par exemple. Ça, j'aime ça. 
Okay, stem so fit so. Let's go. You can pick the red one out, but it's really dangerous. In a 2 2 tie, New Brunswick, British Columbia. I see one, I see two yellows, two BC. Chance for three. It's a chance for three, and this was set up by Carla Thompson making a really nice corner freeze on her last one. She had one frozen and another one buried. So New Brunswick tried to answer with a draw of her own and actually slips very deep into the back 12. So we need a little better than full eight for three points. British Columbia, Carla Thompson, Kamloops Curling Club, Sylvie Robichaud, New Brunswick, Curl Moncton. Trista, baby, Trista, if you need this, if you need this. And if you need it, and she did, looks like she's just spun it a little too far, too, for British Chris Columbia. Well, because this one, I think, definitely outcasts oh, yeah, yeah. it, I think. Right. Right. Thanks for That's what we're thinking. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to help. <laughs> Thanks. I would have been like, look, <laughs> for the whole thing. 4-2. Boy, that's a big point. Double opportunity here. One, two, and it'll spin, but stay in play, edge of the 12. I thought Quebec would throw a guard on their last one, but they ended up coming right into the rings and setting that up. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to, did they? I think that Marie Franz was thinking along those lines with the the rest of the oh, team they had talked her out of it. <laughs> you get vetoed. Okay. That plays. So and it was a deuce for yeah. BC. They go to the break. 4-2 British Columbia leading. An important game for those two teams as, uh, of course, last place in round robin. To lead to uh, relegation and then the pre-tournament next year in St. Catharines. BC coming out of that event. Out of that uh, four-team pre-qualifying tournament. What did you say for BC? This is what they're already there, what? 13th game out there right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. That, that's unreal. When you, when you look at uh, Quebec played 11 all year on tour. We're trying to roll the other way. And that guard would have been perfect. Okay. This is tricky too, because if you don't roll, you're not second shot. Light. Light. I think teams get caught a little bit on this. They see so much movement with this intern draw. And then you over ice it a little bit for the hits and it doesn't move with hit weight. extra speed hit that's where the skips it's so frustrating you hit it right where you think you should because you've asked for a certain speed but that character power coming down kicks it off even if you roll big that's fine okay like nine and a half or ten be close to getting Depending on the weight, you could get the rubble, double and roll behind the guard. PEI in Ontario, this all important game is four losses. And More weight. Ontario sitting one, oh, two, and three. Oh. So that's yeah. what's facing Prince Edward Island. Then there skip Suzanne Burt from the Charlottetown Curling Complex. Well, Ontario has just done a great job at shutting down the scoring area this entire end. And that rock that you see top four was a result of Jen Hanna's last rock. 
perfect come around to sit three. So Suzanne Burt needs a piece of the button just to score here. Sorry about that, uh, Steph. Remember earlier, Robin Green mentioning to Megan Hughes and Marie Christensen to keep your heads up, ladies. Watch what you're doing. Yeah. To stop. And one. Steal of one. Steal of two. Okay. That is a great shot. Steal of three. Yeah, Ontario has stolen three. Nice throw, Jen. So they'll go to the break. 6 1 Ontario. What's the debate here, Russ? Oh, to roll under the short one, top 12, or roll under the longer guard? Well, yeah, you could, you, yes, you could hit, I think. The double's also a possibility, but it probably jams in that back yellow. So okay. I think if you're you're way better to roll behind the long raise as opposed to that easy one foot raise. But it's not as easy to roll behind the uh, long guard. Marie Franz LaRouche, her first here in five. And she's going to roll it behind the shorty. Nice shot. He may not have been able to get behind that other guard. Actually, no. there was, it was kind of edge on edge. Uh. Yeah, I don't think he could have actually. Thank <laughs> you, the 10. Okay. Krista can hit this a hair off center. She can get some separation. On the inside to roll. Okay, yeah. shoot her in. Sounds good. Ten. Yep. She might throw a little more weight than a ten to get more action with her shooter, especially with this turn. Nine and a half. Krista McCarville and her first. Sip yes. Very short, and now watch where that raised stone goes. And the shooter doesn't quite make it underneath, but they are sitting two with Last Rock. Very nice. Left a double though for Quebec. Mm -hmm. Here, less than half. This goes. Whenever you're throwing a shot like this, so there's a lot of risk. Like uh, we see so many of them made, but you can. You can nose this so easily, or you can go underneath it so easily. Oh, oh we yeah. really quick, right out of her hand, Annie LeMay, and she got them both. One. And okay. no. Okay. Bad slide there. She just came out of the hack a little crooked, probably tight. When you're coming out at that speed, no time to adjust. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think so. But okay. As long as you're out in that good stuff, yeah. Okay. Need full 12. Okay. Mentioned earlier, this team has had some trouble in adjusting to the ice. Russ says outside that four foot path That's and coming into the slide path. Mine's good. You're in the middle. Curling. Watch Draw for it. two. We're good. We're real good. Yeah, put it on the button for the skipper. Give her that weight in her back pocket. There it is, two, Northern Ontario here in five. We'll go to the break. Northern Ontario, 4-2 up. The 
2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty's Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Thursday afternoon here in Grand Prairie, our feature Northern Ontario, Quebec. Northern Ontario with two and five to take a four-two lead at the break. The skip from Thunder Bay, Christopher Carvel is with Steph. Chris even playing with a lot of confidence today, lots of rocks in play. What was your game plan coming into today's game? Um, definitely, we know that Quebec likes to um, put lots of rocks in play, so we've been trying maybe not to do that so much. Um, I feel like we're really confident when we're keeping it a little bit more clean, so we're trying to do that a little bit more, but I know they do like to have rocks in play, so you kind of have to go with the game plan a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, we feel good out here, and the ice is really good, and I feel confident icing my team as well. And with playoffs looming, how do you make sure that your team stays focused on the process and not the outcome? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's still days away, and we need to win, and so we need to bear down, and we need to win the next couple games to, you know, give us a chance at those playoffs. Thanks very much. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. And going inside the numbers after five, Marie-France LaRouche, Quebec skip just at 70%, and the uh, Northern Ontario third, Kendra Lilly. So much of the offense of uh, Northern Ontario depends on the way she's playing. She's just at 70 Three percent. The numbers after five brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner of Curling Canada for over 20 years. Wow. I made a mistake there. That's why we're down by two. <laughs> the 2016 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice by Ford of Canada. Proud sponsor with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. And by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. On an absolutely gorgeous day here in Grand Prairie, we've hit the high of plus six. More warm weather tomorrow, plus four. A reminder that the TSN shop is your one-stop destination for officially licensed professional sports gear and curling merchandise. So visit tsnshop.ca to start shopping today. You can become a member of the Royal Order of the Buffalo. Or unless you were from the uh, Northern Ontario, you became a member of the Moose Club. I'm not sure you can get those at tsn.ca, <laughs> I really think the lady with the uh, bison hat there supporting uh, Manitoba that's, 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 uh, takes you back. Right? Barney and Fred and the Flintstones <laughs> to remember Royal Order of the Buffalo. <laughs> As we welcome you back, 4-2 Northern Ontario leads. Just shows how old we are. Quebec with Last Rock here in six, playing the Yellowstone. He always say, oh yeah, yabba dabba do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for two nice lead rocks when you've got a two point lead, the uh, dangerous one on the top of the button and then just almost in but not, so it can't be removed. Both leads have been having a great game. The setup shot's been incredible. Nothing behind the tee. Shot. Good shot. <clears throat> Quebec's a team that can always scare you when they won't hit a lot. They'll mm. just move rocks around and they can get back in games fairly quickly. Marie France herself, she really 
she started off the first couple ends 100 percent and it was just in that third end where she tried to make that hit to get her deuce and it didn't work out and then it's been a struggle ever since close to the double here one and underneath and spill in and come back come back come back and it won't sitting two without last rock northern ontario two ways to play this thing go right around the corner guard Krista mccarville is going to peel the corner guard and then you've got to try to control your deuce you could freeze to one of those red ones this early in the end you wouldn't want to do it late in the end Daniel LeMay comes around that uh, corner guard as we drop in on British Columbia and New Brunswick. And uh, BC sitting the two final stone on the way. New Brunswick's Sylvie Robichaud. And British Columbia has played a very good end. And in fact, they're sitting three right now. So she needs a good chunk of the eight foot in order to score. Oh, yeah. Should be the same oh. as the last one. Oh. It's good, Sylvie. Okay, call. One red. One red it is, 4-3, BC leading. As Northern Ontario peels off the corner. I like Krista's call. She didn't take any chance by trying to go after the one in the rings. He ended up rolling for a guard and giving Quebec an opportunity that way. So just straight peel. That's a nice guard when the opposition team says I can see nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Kendra Lilly. You see that she lives in Sudbury, so she makes the uh, flight up to Thunder Bay, and then the team would uh, tour from there. Okay. Well, no, Krista said it was one of the difficulties for them to, to play more was just that, getting all four of them together. It's more and more common these days, though. You've got yep. the residency rule, and there's always one player, it seems to be, from somewhere else. So trying to get together, a lot of teams will go to events before the event starts, and they'll have a day practice together as a team there. It's just any way to get together and work on team issues and game plan. Which gets costly, and you have to thank all the sponsors for these teams. It's, uh, that's what makes it possible. Okay. It's been the advantage with so much curling on TV now. It attracts sponsors, and I think that's a big thing with the funding and sponsorship that you can actually get some money to travel more. And Brenda Nichols. Line's pretty good if they can get it there. Good enough, there's no double. Okay. 
It's always a little scary trying to punch it half a rock through the uprights. Nine and a half. Good solid delivery. Whoa. Ooh, they might get it the other way. And they did. Wow. That's a great call by Krista McCarvel. Get it the other way? Sure, let's do that. And a nice smile by, from Kendra Lilly. Veterans call by the skip. What were we trying to hit the block? No, no, no. And that can be. Plan C. Well, it's always the only thing of that. Like, you definitely don't want to know, is it right? Yeah. Ontario leads six to one as they play in six. That was a big steal for Ontario after that heavy draw by Suzanne Burt in five and this is her last Lincoln. now, and it looks like she's facing a couple in, uh, in six. Well, she's actually shot Lincoln. rock at the back of the rings there, just barely. I apologize. It's easy to see from where I'm sitting. Don't worry, really I understand. Crawling. Suzanne actually really made an crawling. incredible double and stick to yep. lie two, partly really buried rolling. on her first, so she really that's set this up all by right. herself. That's really nice of you, Steph. You could have really just yep. started up the bus and gone right over me a couple of no, times. No, Vic, you're my buddy. Okay. I got to take care of you. Thanks. <laughs> two for AI, six, three. Leave that bus driving to Cheryl and I. <laughs> <laughs> we thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> she can't get in on our fun. <laughs> wow. You're the driver, I'm the passenger. That's right. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Well done. <laughs> well yeah, done. That's pretty good. That's pretty fine. <laughs> there is a triple here. Or do you still okay. try for the two? <laughs> Just hit it really, really thin. So you get like a, a thin half. That should go there. That should go there. And the shooter. We'll probably spin into this type of area, but it's. I think it's there. I, didn't, I haven't talked about it. Are they going to play the uh, the triple or the the hit and roll over on top? I'm not sure because it's kind of like if you're throwing board, yeah, exactly. it's, it's probably the right ace for board or peel. I think this is triple. It's the triple. Yeah! Annie LeVay yeah! picks her up midway down. Bang, bang. Shot, and yeah. away they go. What a shot. Boy. Beautiful shot. Oh, Look at the action on this shooter <laughs> being up and around. It took them a little bit to get to it, but that's what we talked about the other day with Quebec not playing a lot, and sometimes right. you just don't see it. <laughs> right. Final 
final stone for Northern Ontario. And she does well, and she'll roll it to the middle. Manitoba and Team Canada. And I see one, two. Reds around the edge of the eight. They belong to uh, Manitoba, so this is a draw against a couple for Team Canada. You know what? Jennifer's drawn her first uh, to sit two, actually slipped very deep, which left Carrie Anderson a hit to sit three, but she jammed, yep. which means that this is actually a double to potentially get two. Close, yeah. Wow, to bring that stone back into play, yeah. back edge of the uh, eight. Yeah, Jill yeah. Officer. Oh. Caitlin Law is calling line. Hey, you're good, you're good. One, good two, and get away with the jam, yeah, and they do. Wonderful yeah, shot. <laughs> Boy, that was a huge risk he took to play that one. That took a lot of confidence. You, you tick something, give it, but steal at least one. And Jennifer Jones apologizing for that first stone the draw that she was a little heavy. Still manages to pick up the deuce. We get a blank in our game. Northern Ontario, Quebec. Wonderful shot, the triple by LaRouche to get herself out of trouble. It remains 4-2 Northern Ontario. When we join you tonight at 8.30, Kathy and Brian will have that team for you on TSN 1, Alberta and Saskatchewan. We will have Ontario and Team Canada, Jen Hanna and uh, Jennifer Jones. It's a rematch of that final from 2005 and the shot that won Jones her first Canadian title. Welcome back to Revolution Place on this Thursday afternoon. Quebec gets the blank. Northern Ontario still leads it 4-2. Once again, here in seven, it will be Quebec that has last rock. They have the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Corner guard attempt slid in. Yep, easy 10. For Quebec, so opportunity to hit and sit. Yeah. Yeah, I did well to hold it. Good Manages to push the uh, Quebec stone out the side. Northern Ontario sitting two without. Okay. The scoreboard says that uh, Team Quebec has to ignore these uh, Northern Ontario rocks. Throw that corner guard up. You could freeze. Wow, this early, I think the corner makes some sense. Okay. Would you freeze in this situation, Cheryl, at all? Or? I kind of like it early enough yeah. to still throw the guard. The guard, yeah. Eventually, you might look to the freeze to see. I mean, a blank here isn't the worst. Yeah. Mm. Might hard. get that if you do freeze later on. Get this one a little wider, and you can see the problem with okay. the trying to to peel it the other way. Only two really bad outcomes from this end is the that you want for Quebec is the force of the blank. So just this game and one more 
for Quebec. They'll be idle tonight to close against PEI. Uh, there you can see the inconsistency. Those three straight losses, and yes, the losses to uh, British Columbia, Newfoundland, Labrador, and Team New Brunswick. Three at the bottom of the table. Quebec needs to win out, and then they need some help to possibly get into a tiebreaker. For Northern Ontario, again, they'll be idle tonight. They'll close against Ontario tomorrow. Uh, more consistent. Yesterday wasn't a very good day. Losses to Saskatchewan, Manitoba, big bounce back. If Northern Ontario wins this game, they can clinch at least a tiebreaker. Ashley on a pill attempt, just ticked the guard over. Great opportunity here for Quebec. Go right around the corner. This is where we'd seen so much curl earlier in the game. Money. The guy's just under half. Okay. Mind is rolling out. Bumper. Yeah, get the guard, it's fine. Kendra Lilly. Watch the roll here with this. And the yep. roll. Yep, yep, yep. Nice Thanks, Kendra. To sit the three, but without last rock. On peut se faire un roll? It's an. Roll. It's an celui là? Celui là où le double roulé derrière? Moi, mais on va, on va être back dogs, là. Ouais. Ah, on va être caché. Could this freeze to the shot know? rock also, or even the top one for that matter. Keep the blank alive, maybe. Yeah, it's starting to get scary yeah. for a force. You don't yeah. want to get forced. They're actually going to hit this one and try to stay on top of something or right behind the corner. There are two choices. Quite get there for Sean Stone. Oh, Brenda, he wants to. Sorry of my week. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Middle solid. Whoa. Don't want to yeah, hit yeah. this and roll behind the corner guard because you'll be behind the yeah. T line. Sarah Potts all the way down and did well again. Nice brushing. You made some very fine shots to avoid jams. She ever it's in a nice spot Sarah too. Watching the line. I <laughs> Look like you came out so slow. She's playing and better and better. She came in mm -hmm. a little up and down in the stats the first four or five games as a rookie, and now she's put some solid numbers on since. Yeah, her numbers at five weren't that high. No, 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 no. Her last four games all in the mid 80s. Brendan Nichols. Roll it back. No. And it's it's true what we said that Krista McCarville bases her calling, game calling on the performance of Kendra. Yeah, she does. It's very much how Kendra's feeling. It's probably because she's a newbie at the Scotties and you uh, want to let her settle in but once you get her to settle in you start to see some really good numbers from her. Okay, nine and a half here. Okay. Just like nose? Or no, we're all 
Oh, Sarah's way of hair. Okay. My way of hair. So you notice that her hand went up to her glasses. Well, there's another famous curler from Thunder Bay that used to adjust his glasses before he throws. He used to do his in the hack. She stands up to adjust. Wagner <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Krista oh, McCarville have something in common. Plus they both make a pile of curling shots. Yeah. yeah, they have talent in common. That was a good nine. Yeah. Sorry, Just, that's her. okay. Is that all? Yep. Al lost the like Northern Ontario final to Brad Jacobs last year. Yeah, did he he didn't play this year, did he? No, that's what I heard, yeah. I remember watching that online. Your bumper? Yeah. yeah. Just because Ink the end. do it again, yeah. Yeah. It was probably like just nice bumper. Like definitely wasn't for me. Put two wheels for a shot. Okay, let's go. Play with mine. What? Way ball. Line tight. Side six, six. Push for the link. Push. Six, set. 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 No, no. Set. Set. Yeah. Well, they got there. One red at the back, so that would belong to PEI. Can you get that there and tap it to bring that stone top eight into play for Ontario? Well, actually, on Jen Hanna's first, she tried something similar to that. Uh, the rock was a little bit more exposed, and she did get rid of it, but it rolled away. Now, Suzanne Burt was able to answer with that beautiful draw around. That's the rock you see in the back of the forefoot right now, and it's well buried, over buried, actually. So Jen's electing just to draw for one. Leading 6-3. The difference in the game is that stolen three by Ontario that came in five. Jen Hanna, the Ontario champions from the Ottawa Curling Club. Prince Edward Island, Suzanne Burt from Charlottetown and the curling complex. Both teams at four losses. Now, if you're Quebec or Nova Scotia at five losses, you're looking for somebody to come back and one of those teams will as Ontario picks up the single. You're hair hot, right? Hello? Yeah. But having said that, if you're at five losses, you need to win out and then you need lots yep. of help. Mm, do you ever? Oh, even maybe up. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's not play the Marie France Lerouche just over curled. Shows Krista a piece here on the out turn. Hey. Good shot, Chris. That's good. That's good. This is really what you did not want to happen. You've now, you're down. Nor Northern Ontario has two hammers to your one. Let's go, Marie. Let's go, Marie. Okay. Let's go, Marie. Let's go, Marie. Let's go, Let's go. Ça va être la même vitesse là? Oui. Oui. Ok, 29. Oui. Facing 3. Oui, bon! Yep, la ligne à cœur du coup. Yep, yep! C'est où? 7! Tu vas perdre la ligne! Tu vas perdre la ligne! Annie Lemay. Julie Ramphill. Bon, deux lignes. Hold the line. Oh. Don't want to slip too far. Oh, oh and she will. One red, one, red. one red it is. Steal of one. Five two, Northern Ontario. That's the kind of week it's been. Let's continue with our updates on this 15th draw Thursday afternoon. And Two yellows sitting there. They belong to Team Canada. A little miscue from Jennifer Jones actually on her last. She was trying to draw around top four to sit to buried, and she slips a little bit deep, setting up this tricky little double opportunity. And if she can hit this in the perfect spot, she will get two out of it. Carrie Anderson out of East St. Paul. Get it by, they did. And oh dear. 
And that shooter's going to spin off them, and that's a steal of two more. 8 3, Team Canada. So, just to emphasize again, Alberta Idol today, they are at the top with a record of 8 and 2. Manitoba in danger of falling to four to join Saskatchewan, who are idle. Northern Ontario is leading, looking to stay at three. Ontario PEI, very big game at four losses. A Quebec loss would drop them to six losses and take them out of the running. Northern Ontario with that steal of one and seven means they now lead 5-2. As we go to the eighth, and Quebec once again will have last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stones. Any chance or Quebec or Nova Scotia at five losses is to win out and then hope that somebody will fall back to uh, join you. Yeah, it's about here. Wine's fine. Mm -hmm. You got it, Ash. Struggle started whoa, whoa. last end for Quebec whoa. when yep, yep, Ju whoa, Julie whoa. slid into the yep, rings yes. on her corner whoa, guard whoa, attempt. Yes, that's true. Whoa, 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 whoa. She had, she's had great oh. weight all game. <laughs> Ashley Zippola gets rid of one and then pushes the other guard over to the said. edge of the 12. Oh. That guard's pretty high now, too. Like, yeah. yeah. I have to be thinking uh, two one two here, two and eight, force and nine, two and Ten, you're tied. Whoa! Kendra, you gotta go! It's so hard! 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 Kendra gotta go. Kendra Lilly. That's sweeping. Again, we said to you earlier, she she swept a couple yesterday. Coast to coast. Great form too. A lot of a lot of downward pressure that really really Gouging into the surface. Okay. Attempt to use these two staggered on Northern Ontario rocks as guards. Mark Daisy won a briar in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Around there twice and got the three points. It's hard to throw in the back there, though, isn't it? You're just trained and you're yeah. <laughs> forever never to be deep, so it is. Tough throw. And around everything. Very nice. Nice well, hang on to the back edge of the four for second shot. Very nice. Even for the sweepers, it's a tough one because you know you don't want it too deep, but you're trying to judge for the weight and not get on it too early. Great shot. Double 
Parce que je trouve que dès qu'on n'est pas caché, ah, je sais, en je ici, il y a un double direct d'un dents. Si on s'en vient... Si on le fait direct... Si on freeze ici... Time out! Time out! Je, je l'aime pas du tout. Time out, you called by Quebec. Non, That mais si on est capable de... That will bring Pierre Charette to the ice. Well, it's been a while since we've uh, looked in on British Columbia and uh, New Brunswick. And uh, New Brunswick sitting the one. This is a chance for two. Yeah, the first one that you see there in the forefoot was a result of a really nice come around a corner guard by Sylvie Robichaud, forcing Carla Thompson to try a run back, which he sent it by. And that opens up this opportunity for New Brunswick to tie the game. So you see the standings there, British Columbia, New Brunswick. If they should, this is the game really that will determine which team will go into that four-team pre-qualifying. Nice draw by Robichaud to tie it at five. If these teams wind up tied, the winner of this game, or the loser, I guess would be better put, would fall into that pre-tournament next year. If three teams are tied for that relegation spot, then they would go to the draw to the button results to determine the team that would... Okay, ben la deuxième, elle va être dans Ouais, parce qu'il reste, il reste trop de pierres, ouais. ils ont trop de chance de double. Ouais, parfait. Okay. Well, it's Pierre dreamt up here. I think he, 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 can, he can tap that red one if he could keep it on the nose, not lining it up. It's really effectively a freeze. Yeah, they talked for a little bit about the outturn come around, but dangerous. You could leave a slash. You could mm -hmm. come too deep. Hard part with this, I assume that's what it is. In turn tap, you 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 have to be so precise on your line. Point ball, two. Line ball, two. Yeah, to the line a bit. Oh, they phone the guards deux. first. Eh? Sorry. They talked about that tap. Mm -hmm. I thought that's yeah. what they were. Or the come around again. That's a good move too, because this just kind of prolongs. It is a pretty good chance there's going to be a feel here. You're never sure what your opponent's going to do, but the scoreboard says Northern Ontario can run out there and hit it. Waste a couple more rocks coming into the rings for Quebec. Like they looked at open side, but mm. no good place to put it and not leave a double. Now. Hack, wait and try and stay on the nose. If you can stay on the nose, it'll be virtually frozen. But it's all about getting that absolute right angle. This could end up horribly because you could end up getting a little low side and lining up the two yellows. Yeah. And the nickels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Annie! No, 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 Julie! Whoa! Oh, it just rolls off to the corner. Just a fraction off perfection. I wonder if I could ever do that. Yeah, you could push us to shot. Push us in. I like that. Yeah. Like that nine and a half, I kind of shot. I mean, you heard I was Brenda say that's yeah, been my right. game. It's just been the yeah, wrong side yeah. of the inch for Brenda. You get weeks like that, don't you? It's been a struggle for Marie France LaRouche the last three games in particular, and her struggles continue now in this one at just 70%. Interestingly, up Krista McCarville, it's the draws that have let her down. She's been perfect on her hits so far. Player numbers are brought to you by Travelers. It's better under the umbrella. Chance for two, it looks like. Yeah, it was just a light 
sort of a board weight tap here. Jen Hanna tried a really tough double on her last to limit this scoring and prevent the deuce, but she only got rid of one and did leave her shooter mostly exposed. And that is the 2-4 PEI to close the gap. Ontario still leads at 7-5, all important. Loser there drops to five losses. Krista actually made this come around easier for Quebec. Because of the stagger. It is, didn't, definitely didn't want to leave that after. They seemed a little worried about hanging around as opposed to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay. Marie plans LaRouche. This is her first. Again, about holding the line here. Once by, then they'll try and carry it into the four. By they are. Now carry it down as far as they can to grab the four and sit the two. <laughs> That's nice curling. Well, they just now they know a buy, so they change it up and try to get that maximum curl. Brilliant weight. See enough to pick it. You might be forced to the draw. Follow her down. Probably see a quarter. Either that or you play a little less at it. Yeah. Well. Got to make sure to get this out though. No. Yeah. I mean, like a ten and a half. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys like? Can I call a timeout. Well, would you play here. this? Really, yeah, looking at the scoreboard, would you risk yeah, giving up three? No, but so so you're you're suggesting hit, but the hit's not a gimme. That you could give up three like we hitting also. Tap we this to here, roll this thought. way a little yeah. bit. Because my thought was that if you bump it to here, yes, it'll be open, but it gives her. No, a tough... we'd have to come across it like this. No, and yeah, then our shooter is the Yeah, but even right if it here. stuck out a bit, it oh would yeah, 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 okay. Angle. Do you guys like the bump? Or there's this. We yeah. watched her make it twice. But yeah. if we're gonna do that, why don't you just kind of get one out? You can try to draw, but that's really tough. There's a good chance it won't bend enough. You'll end up in that type of area. You could also play the draw this way, but you certainly don't want to line up any uh, anything that way. So now they're talking. Interesting call here. Just just move these a bit, Cheryl. Tap it maybe to here. Even if you tap it a hair open, then when uh, Quebec hits it, it could go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Krista might not be leaning to the draw because of her draw struggles this game. So maybe yeah, this is yeah. a little bit higher percentage shot right, for just her. Like you bump it right there, just like right? back four, yeah. Back four at most, eh? Because we don't want it to go no, too far. No, we don't far. want to bump it in the open. And you got two I mean, I, yeah. I can bump it two inches and we're a second yeah. at yeah. least, right? A lot more options with this. Yeah. Okay, so. Pretty much if we hit where the handle is. Yeah, we get it like, here, yeah. Yeah. It's an easier shot. The, the, cover, the wide come around is so um, tricky. So it's tough. I'm not sure you could get shot rock. I guess you could, but. You ever feather the guard, you give up three. Wow, she just doesn't, uh, she's relentless, isn't she? Jen Jones, Team Canada sitting one, two, three, four. Final rock on the way, Manitoba and Carrie Anderson. She is relentless, and her last rock, Jennifer Jones, made a hit and roll to a spot where, despite sitting four, there's actually no way for Carrie Anderson to hit and score. So she's forced to this cold draw through the port, full four foot for one. Yeah, shot rock is top edge of the four. All you, you hear Selena Cates calling line, Liz Fife, Christian McCush. That is a wonderful, wonderful shot under pressure by the Manitoba champion, Perry Anderson. Line only! Krista McCarvel, this is her last. 
bump it up. And it looks like they have grabbed John Stone. Really good throw. What a great shot. Perfect weight. What's the shot for three? If it doesn't curl quite as much as a nose hit triple, but it just curled the top rock, curls that inch, unlocks the one they tapped, and there isn't quite a triple. That, yep, red one that was thrown had stayed there. Then you could hit it really hard, and this would go like that, and that would go that way, and you, your shooter would stay up top for three. Like that. Now is she just playing the thin slash across the top? Yes, yes, for two. Let's go, Marie. Wait, Let's go, Marie. normal. Wait. That's thin, and you need a lot of weight. Well, you got to get by, too. You, you, yeah, this is no picnic. Now, she hits, she sees and jams it. Is it still two? I go. think so. It's close. So that could roll to the center line. This mm -hmm. one that she's hitting could roll, hit and roll to the center line. Actually, maybe be second shot. That's to be perfect. Final stone for Quebec. Yes, yes, shot rock yes, belongs yes, to Northern yes, Ontario. Yes, yes, it's up to Julie Renfield yes, now trying to hold this line. Yes, Get by. No, oh, she'll catch the top yes. one. And it will be a steal of one for Northern Ontario. Flashbacks on this morning in the possible four. For Manitoba, despite getting that single in eight on a beautiful draw to the pin, looked at the scoreboard, saw that they are down by four, and so they've decided to shake. Team Canada wins it, make the final. Eight to four. So Team Canada with the win improved now to seven and two. And Manitoba drops to that four loss mark, along with Ontario currently on the ice playing Prince Edward Island. On this uh, Thursday afternoon, there's a draw this evening and then one final draw tomorrow morning here in Grand Prairie. Northern Ontario with a steal of one. It's very similar to the situation earlier today. It, that was a little tougher shot, but earlier today, Quebec had that opportunity to uh, score at least three, maybe even four, but they uh, crashed and uh, they end up losing to New Brunswick six to five. Uh, Coach Pierre Charette says it's been that kind of week for the team. They just haven't been able to get the brush down in the right spot, and then if they did, they've pinched off a lot of uh, throws. No, no, no. I thought, oh, sorry, Roscoe. No, no. That, that's what seems to happen, uh, you know, the, it's not, and it's not always a skip. It's, it's four people have to read the ice. You just, you just don't get a feel for it. it we, we always used to say the ice maker makes four friends and four enemies. Well, the, the four enemies are the guys that didn't figure the ice out, and, and uh, it's so often that you just that wee bit off on your anticipation what it's going to do. It's changing all the time, and uh, that's what it looks like it's happened to me. And, Partly because there hasn't been enough reps for this team. They haven't played a lot. And, they, it, and it kind of seemed to start, especially this game, with Brenda. And so then now you're mm -hmm. doubting because Brenda's yeah. missing everything by just yeah. an inch here or there. And now for the skip, you're second guessing. They played such a brilliant end coming around two rocks on the top of the forefoot to set up the three. Another. Uh, recovery from McCarville. Like she's yeah. made so many brilliant shots at the right time. I thought Quebec was going to get their three that in. Perfect, come around. No, no. So after that steal in eight here in the ninth, it is Quebec that once again does have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stones. Krista, she's an impressive player. She just doesn't get rattled either. You know, and I think that's going to be the key to any skip through this week. You may have a big miss along the way. Gotta go. Hard. Keep going. Go, go, go. Okay, you got it. Good sweeping. Sorry, Kendra. Good sweeping, Kendra. Annie LeMay. Go, 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 go. Too long. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Nefei. Miguel, hello. 
Again, 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 again. Go, 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 go. Nimm was sie. Bunny. This is very thin, so you can just go over top. Kendra oh. Lilly, one, and go, she's go, going go, to get go, them go, both. Go, and now go. watch where this yeah. ends up. Oh, goodness. Thanks, Kendra. Oh, going Thanks to God. cover her own stone. Perfect spot. <laughs> so good. Brenda yeah. Nichols. On n'a pas beaucoup, je peux te aller. Oui, oui, mais il y a un accroche de toute façon. Yep. Trying to have enough to get around? Yes, 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 yes. No. OK, OK. Oh, ouais. Yep, yep, yep. Ça marche. Oui, c'est ça. Oui, c'est beau. It's a hair on the inside. Yeah. 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 It's 10. OK. Kendra, we just want to make sure that we roll, eh? Yeah. Don't overlap these. Do you want to even just shoot peel? Well, like peel it on this side? Yeah. Well, it's, it's almost the room. It's going to run pretty straight, but. Or no, if you just want to shoot 10, that's fine. Well, I don't mind shooting a little more. Just okay. to make sure it springs off good. Let's go nine and a half then. Okay. Nine and a half is their go to shot. They play a lot of nine and a half. That's great. I think it was Vic said that, yeah, or Shredded said enough. that they were playing with too many weights, Hard. Quebec team, whereas Northern On's pretty Hard. steady diet of the same Hard. speed. Just uh, taking a look here, that uh, Redstone right. looks to be Hard. Shot Rock, PEI, just on the T line behind cover. So draw against the, uh, the one, is it? Draw against one, and Jen Hanna did have an opportunity to set up two with a corner freeze. That's the other yellow rock you do see in the house, but didn't get shot rock out of it. So this is a draw just to take one. She could try a shot for two, but considering the scoreboard, she thinks one is a better option. They're leading Ontario Leeds at 7-5 in this battle of a four-loss team. Just a reminder, you can see this game with Kathy and Brian on TSN 1. And that will stop. Center line, back four. Eight, five. PEI down by three. We'll have the last rock coming home. Go, Any. Left. Go, Any. Go, 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 Any. Go, 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 Probably an overall is better, right? Doesn't look like Ace is slowing down at all down the center there. Yeah. They're going to come off of it, though, probably. Yeah. We just don't want them to be able to just play attack back to, to here. If we just yeah. roll a hair. Yeah. Let's go here, or I guess a big roll there. Yeah. Can you make me a little bit? Yeah. I think I like 10. Okay. Mine was a little up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And there's weight. Okay, flop underneath here. Okay. The 10. Yeah, they looked at that or even the long roll if they got it. There's not a lot of room for that. You can just roll to the button and make the draw for Quebec tough. Solid 10. Whoa. Ten. Close. Whoa. Sarah Potts. Maybe thin and... And thin okay. and back it up and peek out. <laughs> Might have been better to stop rushing there, hit it thinner and nose that one on the button, but still a 
keep making them go away is good enough. Yeah, thinner still. Watch the thread when it hits it. The contact points are hair thinner. This sticks right there. Still a good shot. But it has allowed them to get in and yes. underneath. It does. That's exactly it. It, it kicked open. So now uh, Mary France can get to the inside here. Stagger guards again. That same situation. If you can roll maybe towards the button, it'd be tough to remove it. Okay. Yeah, that was Kendra. Kendra's roll that didn't quite roll far enough. Marie France LaRouche. Yes. No, no, no. Annie. No, Annie. Annie. So LeMay now trying to hold that line. Get by. Yes. Underneath. Yes. Oh, and maybe just roll. Finally will stop back edge of the four. But they got on that a little bit to get some movement and then realized it was over curling. Held it. <laughs> you know. How do I put this nicely? I understand the directional brushing, but I'm, you see so many rocks that are lost where it's that hesitation instead mm -hmm. of both of them being brushes down because you know that that brush out in front, Cheryl, they say does not do very much. So if your brush is down and you're still both there, you can both get to the stone and switch it more quickly. You can. They say this. We're seeing less issues with it, I think, because the hairs are gone. But I agree. Uh, you know, the second sweeper still can be effective. They talk about it counteracting the first sweeper. I like that we're not seeing as many issues, though, with the synthetics as we did with the hair. That would have been one of them right there where you get on it and you can straighten it out again. I understand. Is Krista McCarville. Just wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> she just comes down to the back edge of the button. It's just, it's just that when one pulls away, that momentary lapse that they're not there is enough to lose the stone rush. Can be. It certainly can be. But you could say that the old way too. When you're you're brushing, you know, you're you're brushing it crazy to get a buy and you hesitate for a second. But I think part of it is that not. All the teams are totally comfortable with it yet either. It's, it's still a little bit of an experimental stage. Another perfect stone by the skipper. No other choice but to follow it down and put it right on the lid. Final stone. Marie France LaRouche, Annie LeMay, nothing yet. Julie Ranville, nothing yet. Now, down to it and buy it, and it will be another steal of one for Northern Ontario in nine. And handshakes, and Northern Ontario is going to win it. Make the final 7-2 as they remain among the leaders, improving their record to 7-3 and three in Quebec fall to four and six and out of playoff contention at this year's Scotties. The 2016 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Purex Bathroom Tissue. Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. The 2016 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. What a turnaround for Quebec. They started at four and two. They lost four in a row. Marie-France LaRouche, fourth straight game in the 60% range. And so it's a 7-2 win. For Northern Ontario, Quebec has been eliminated from uh, the playoffs. So congratulations to Northern Ontario and Krista McCarvel. The game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. 
So they remain among the leaders. At four losses, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario's on the ice against Prince Edward Island, both at four. And that's where we will take you now. Kathy and Brian will have that game for you and take you home. Vic, thank you very much. And we welcome all our viewers across our TSN feeds that are watching the Scottish coverage. We got you in the 10th end. It's Ontario taking on PEI and Suzanne Burtz in a big hole here. She does have hammer, but down by three. We're into third stones right now. This one coming in from Robin Green. And as the house comes into play, if you're just joining us, you can see there's the corner guard there going around. And now PEI does lie two in the house. Both these teams coming in with four and four records. So a must win for both sides. Normal, normal up. And for Ontario, it's just a matter of making yeah. these red stones oh, go whoa. away. This one whoa. from Britt O'Neill. Whoa, yeah. whoa, no, 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 no. Good. Now you ignore that stone again and bury a second stone around that corner guard. Same shot as Robin's first one, just a little less weight. I did it again, though. I said, Karen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot less. Take a look. We are. Free. Just for weight. Yep. Got to bury it, Marie. Just Marie. Just Marie. Yep. yep. Hard. Go, 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 go. Hard. Go, go. Hard. Hard. Yep. Go. Yep. Trying to get that finish a little bit more. Wrap it around the corner guard. And now two red stones in the house. So making things interesting here for Ontario. Okay. You hit the guard. You hit the guard. It's good. Okay. Let's go. For Jen Hanna, feeling that she's going to be able to see something of that back stone, just needs to clip it and get it out of there. It's, sick, it's strictly elimination of stones at this point for Ontario. Just normal. Down to skip stones here in 10. Yep. Jen Hanna out of the Ottawa yep. Curling Club. Yes. Got to go hard to get it by there. PEI's red guard and just by. That's good. And actually getting the stone they didn't plan on getting. Oh, they just papered by that top red guard, Kathy. They did. And for Jen Hanna, as long as one of them was gone with that two point edge. Good one. I thought you were going to just touch it. Thank you. And a final score now between Woo! British Columbia and Thank New you. Brunswick. Good job. Good job. Kona Thompson high fives as she picks up a win, 7 oh, 5 <laughs> over Sylvia Roby Show. So now they are the only sheets in play on the ice here at Revolution Place. As the crowd Marie. calms down for Suzanne Burt. Right, well, okay. Just Marie, though. Well, line's good. Well, it's going to come out the other no, side. No. Well, it's really going. That's it. 
by the guard. Now needs to slow down for Suzanne. This guy, right? Yeah. You want to play to this one? Okay. Okay. If it's running, if it's, I don't think it'll run, but yeah. if it's staying it straight, that's like good it. too. Okay. You just, you need to be lined too. So we're guessing that the concern Jen Hanna has is that red guard out because from the hack, she probably can see three quarters, if not all. She may change her mind, but in the meantime, because it is shot stone, but that belongs to PEI, um, if she I throws like this stone shot there, like I think Ontario anywhere. has a shot here, Kathy, don't they? Oh, sorry, the Ontario stone. I beg your pardon, Brian. No problem. So if she draws into lie two, the only way that Suzanne can get three is by making the double. And if she's anywhere in front of those two red stones, it will jam. That is her thinking. Final stone here in 10 for good. Jen Hanna. Good. She does have okay. shot stone yeah, without hammer here eight. in 10. Full eight. Looks pretty good, no? Full eight. Line's good, yes, all the way, all the way. Look, take a look. Steph. No. Well, Karen, yeah, no. Yeah, gotta go Just Steph. Steph. Just Steph. Hard. Whoa, 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 Final few brushes, freeze it on the side. That's a nice touch from Jen Hanna. You scared me, and I don't like I, I don't think I was that like. Good, good sweet. Good sweet. And I don't think Suzanne Burt has anything. She does not. There we go. And that'll do it. Handshakes. Jen Hanna keeping her playoff hopes alive with a big win here over PEI. 8 5, your final score, and she's back in action tonight against Team Canada and Jennifer Jones. And a tough loss for PEI as they fall now to four and five, but we look on top. It is Alberta, eight and two. They are into that one-two page playoff game. Team Canada, seven and two. They'll take on Ontario tonight. Northern Ontario improving to seven and three. And it is Alberta taking on Saskatchewan in a big time game for Jolene Campbell and company. You can watch that one on TSN 1, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And on TSN 4, it's a rematch of that final from 2005 between Jennifer Jones Team Canada and Ontario and Jen Hanna. On Sunday, we will crown a Scotty's champion and Jennifer Jones continues her quest to win Scotty's title number six. The final four make the playoffs and we're getting closer to championship weekend. On behalf of myself and Kathy Goche, that's what they're all playing for. Thanks for watching our coverage of the Scotties on TSN.